Three events are down, two events remain, and we will crown a champion at the 2023 Arnold Strong Woman Classic here on Saturday from Columbus, Ohio. Thank you so much for staying with us today, everybody. I'm Sean Woodland with Lauren Chalet and Jerry Pritchett. Kiki Dixon is out on the competition floor. We'll be checking in with her in a second. We get ready for the Stein Toss, and then this is a totally unknown event here. Yeah, absolutely new one, new to Jerry and myself, new to the athletes. We're going to see different types of techniques being used, and it really is the unknown in this competition. And really going to be, all of us are going to be learning this for the first time as, as these athletes go. They've all tried to train it and try to figure it out the best they think, you know. I guarantee some of those are techniques are probably changing backstage now as they're warming up. And then as they go, we're going to kind of see what works best and what doesn't. Well, after three events, things got even tighter on top of the overall standings, and we have a new leader coming into this event. Olga Lushuk is tied with Andrea Thompson at 23 points, as only two and a half points separate Lushuk from Victoria Long. And for more, let's go to Kiki Dixon. I spoke with Olga, and she mentioned I've never thrown a stone before, as it will probably be for a lot of these ladies. But she did say, I'm excited about it. It doesn't have her down. She said, I play this game, and I have as good a chance as any to win it. Thank you, Kiki. Event number four of five is the Steintossen. And each athlete will get three attempts to throw the stone on the left side of your screen as far as she can and they cannot step into that sand pit. So keys here, hard to figure out with an unknown, but yeah, I what mean, are these athletes keeping in mind here? It's brought to you by Beyond the Whiteboard. You know, generally as a thrower, you want good explosive power, but this is really going to be about learning on the job. None of the athletes have ever touched this implement. They've all been trying to, to mimic it as much as they can with sandbags and various different types of stones. But this first throw is going to show us a lot. And the athletes will be watching closely to see how Hannah does this. Hannah Lindsay will be up first. I think you got to think like a, in terms of like a shot put, they're going to want to project that, you know, up and out as much as possible so they don't, you know, get a downward toss on it and not gain any ground. That looks like a decent first throw there by Lindsay. She was really confident coming in this event that, that she was going to, she'd been throwing around 11 feet in training. She felt confident that that was going to be a, a good number. Let's see what the distance is. This is very much like a traditional track and field throwing event where they're going to get three attempts. They're not allowed to go across the line. So, you know, do you hold back a little bit on this first throw and just get a throw in there? And as you can see, they are measuring where it made the impact, not where it stopped. So that stone weighs 110 pounds for the women, 50 kilos. She starts in that overhead position, which kind of what we thought might be the, the technique to go with. It gets a good run up and seems like a good launch. Yeah, yeah like it looks decent. But it's just so early to tell. Yeah, was, I mean, we don't know what's good yet. I mean, it, if you two were in this position, what would you be doing right now? Watching, I'd be doing a lot of watching yeah. of the other athletes. I, I've had a mess around with this event uh, just in training, just to kind of get some kind of idea of what I felt would be an effective way to train it and, and or, or how I would do it myself. And I, I kind of ended up going to, to the way Lin, uh, Hannah Lindsay went there, where you kind of hold it locked out overhead. Now, some athletes are going to keep it on their chest and use a lot more of that pushing, mm -hmm. pressing power that they have. I think it's going to be important to try and plant that front, front foot as you kind of get approach the line and really get as much power into it as possible. But a taller athlete like Tom Stoltman, I think he goes with it with a locked out overhead, use that height advantage. You know, we've, we've got... Um, Tamara here, she's a much more explosive, powerful athlete. She's going to have to rely on that shoulder power, the tricep power, and get that oomph behind that stone rather than using height because she's one of the shorter athletes. What do you yeah. think you do, Jerry? Yeah, I think probably what Laws says, go for the overhead. I mean, I, I think, like Laws, I, I messed around with this from training and I had some, I thought, maybe decent throws, you know, launching from the chest, but it, it does seem to have up overhead and have those, you know, kind of those like long levers, be able to launch it out over. 
the biggest thing is the advantage here is the, the athletes that get to go towards the, the end because they can sit and watch and, and really kind of learn the technique as they go here. Yeah, Tamara Walcott good. is up next. This will be her first throw. So Hannah Lindsay's first throw, eight feet, five inches. The Walcott coming off that. She's been hitting 11 feet in training. Yeah. But as we say, you know, you're using a sand A sandbag is going to feel completely different to a stone. And, and even if they were using a stone, it's not this stone. Exactly. You know, so. This is the real event of the contest where anything could happen. Lockhart we, has it over her head. It doesn't already comfortable, but and that's her first throw. But as I mentioned, she's coming off that world record performance in the deadlift. Beat her own record by five pounds. She lifted 651 pounds to tie Victoria Long, the two of them. And this is, you know, she's mark. a very powerful athlete, obviously the power lifter, but it, this is still going to favor the, the strong women, the seasoned strong women that are they're used to these odd dynamic events, you know, they're used to doing overhead events and log press and things like that, so they're going to have those strengths. I mean, if you come, you kind of go back to when Jerry and myself started Strongman, you often didn't have a clue what the events were going to be mm -hmm. when you turn up to a show. So the athletes that have the ability to watch and adapt and learn on the fly are going to do well on this. Athletes that need to be well prepared, maybe they'll struggle a little bit more. You know, athletes that, some athletes just don't have that ability to change technique right. the, at a contest. They like to be well prepared. They like to know exactly the diameter of everything, yeah. the weight of everything. Whereas I think if you're a bit more laid back and you're you're willing to, to adapt, it's going to suit you on this event. Yeah, the, the athletes that, that have trained just um, ready for anything are, are going to adapt to events like this much faster. And Mel Peacock will be your next athlete out. Eighth place overall, but she has gotten better with each event. Finished sixth in the elephant bar deadlift with a lift of 581 pounds. Just based off like physics, I, I think this type of event is going to suit the taller athletes, the, the rangy athletes, the, the likes of Rebecca Roberts. She's got that height advantage. Inez, very athletic, explosive. Comes from a shot put background. Yeah, having that throwing background definitely should help. Yeah, I would expect Rebecca to do really well at this, those long arms. And she's just so strong and everything, Yeah, you know. Eight feet, five inches from Hannah Lindsay is still your top throw here as Mel Peacock will be the third woman out. And there's Peacock's first toss. From the first three throws that we've seen so far, Hannah Lindsay clearly in the lead. And that black mark on the side of that sand pit will show you how far the top throw is. And so far, the three athletes we've seen have all gone with that overhead technique. What will be interesting to see if athletes change their technique across the attempts. Yeah. And a lot of times you'll see someone come out and do something different that works really well, and then all of a sudden everyone after that starts trying the same thing. You see it changed up, yeah. Yeah, if you, you see someone that's got you know really good shoulder power that comes out and just launches from the chest, you might see some go, well, maybe we're going to try this. Yeah. You know? I mean, like I said, you know, I, I think the, the taller athletes have the advantage, but if you, if you can force that stone hard with that tricep power, the shoulder power that some of the athletes have, maybe. maybe someone like Bobby, you know, he, he might get, generate a lot of power from his chest yeah. and launch it out. Mel Peacock's throw is six feet nine inches as Sam Beliveau steps up for her first attempt. Beliveau seventh place overall. She had back-to-back -back fifth place finishes to start day one and then a tenth in the elephant bar deadlift. Looking to get back on track here. Another athlete going for the overhead technique. He's got hands around the side a little bit too much. It's going to be hard to force much power into that, and you can see there the stone just kind of fell yeah, just straight into the pit. Downward projector right, right into the pit. Didn't really get any 
You really want that power to be applied into the stone and just having the hands around the side there, it was almost like she was throwing a ball rather than forcing and pushing the weight forwards. That stone is definitely too hard to throw like a soccer ball, football. Yeah. No, no. And your score is your best throw. It's not cumulative dif distance, so it's your best throw that will be your final score. Yeah, that was another thing I was looking at with training. I was like, okay, my first attempt, I just went for it and straight away I stood over the line. So that would have been a no throw. So then I would, I would have to focus on a safer second throw. I think a lot of the ladies right now are just trying to get that confidence. Completely new event, as we keep saying. Seven feet, five inches for Sam Belavo, and not a bad effort considering, as you mentioned, the hands on the yeah, side there. she's actually got a good distance there. Good long levers though, long arms. Four women have thrown, we have six remaining. And it's gonna be Donna Moore who's up next. Hannah Lindsay still has your best throw at eight feet, five inches, but Bellavo now in second place. Now Donna definitely has more experience than any of these other women in strong, strong women competitions, but this is still, this is a brand new event to her too. Yep. She needs to dig deep with that experience that she has. Yeah. Try and figure this, this stone out as quick as possible. Such a different type of event, and it's, it's a unique challenge, but that makes it interesting. We don't know who's going to win this event. Yeah. Pretty it's going to be a solid effort from Donna Moore. Oh. Depending on where that initially made impact, it looks Still like from that angle it's going to be close. Turned on the release. That was, I don't know if that was intentional or <laughs> just the way it came off, but almost like it gained her some. Interesting to see the official distance on that throw. I believe every athlete so far has gone for the overhead approach. And this may be that backstage when they were warming up, it just seemed like the most effective way to do yeah. it. So from that angle, it's going to be a little short of Lindsay's top mark. How many different ways did you try this when you were messing around with it? Really just the two, just overhead and then from the chest. It's so heavy, you really don't have too many options, you know. But five feet, nine inches is the score for Donna Moore. And now Victoria Long will come out. And Victoria wow, that's... is one of five athletes in contention for a spot on the podium right now. She has 20 and a half points, only two and a half points back of Lischuk for the top spot on the overall leaderboard. Yeah, she really put herself back in contention with that deadlift. Yeah. You've got to continue to do so on the stone. Absolutely, she didn't have the day one that she wanted, but she started day two strong. Let's see what she's like at this one. One of the taller athletes, and that looks good. Oh, that oh, is that gonna demolish Lindsay's distance, so that will be the new top mark for Victoria Long. We'll just await the official up. measurement. She's clearly had a good night's sleep and come back a different athlete today. Yeah. That was a really fast run up, good launch. Mm. Probably the fastest approach that we have seen so far. Yeah, that was very good. I, that looks like might be one of the keys to it is, is to have that fast approach to get that momentum, get that, that some momentum behind that stone. Now we'll be able to see how the height comes into play. Rebecca Roberts with 21 points, tied for third with Inez Carrasquillo. Rebecca. Roberts had a great start, won the Wheel of Pain 92 feet 9 inches. One of the performances of the weekend so far. Rebecca is 6'3", 6'4". She's a very, very tall lady. Long 10 arms. feet 2 inches is now the top score from Victoria Long. 
the Welsh Wonder Woman, Rebecca Roberts, who got here as an alternate and now in contention, not only for a podium, but possibly the overall win. And she really wanted to prove that she should have been on the list here, not coming here as an alternate. I think she's proven that already. She did that out of the gate yesterday. <laughs> Let's see how she does. Look how high that stone is. Oh. Just let it drop a little too soon, I think. Yeah. And really had to slow down getting to that barrier. Yeah. It may have lost some momentum, but that's a good throw for her. Yeah, it was really good, just a good timing on, you know, the, the quickness of the run up, but be able to time it where you don't start to lose the stone and stumble and We have three athletes remaining here in round number one. I don't know if you notice, four guys carry that stone back <laughs> in a net. <laughs> I really think if she could have kept it up high and not, because like she dropped it and she squatted down, I think if she could have just stayed with that height, I think she could have got a better toss there. I'd agree. I think she can definitely come back and add a good amount of distance to that first throw. I don't know if, if the stone maybe started to slip and that's why she kind of brought it down to catch it and I'm not sure what happened or if that was the plan but and as Carrasquillo up next. Here's our shot putter. Yeah let's see what the experienced thrower can do. See if this carries over. Finished second in the Wheel of Pain, a third in the American Oak, and then a seventh. Her first finish outside the top three in the Elephant Bar deadlift. 21 total points, only two points out of first. Is Rebecca Roberts' distance is good enough for third currently. So she's got a good start. Now let's see what Inez can do. 10 feet, two inches from Victoria Long is the mark to beat. Good, powerful throw. And that is a solid yeah. throw. Just stopped herself going over the marker. And they measure to the initial impact point. And it looks like they're going to count that as a no lift because she may have made contact with the front of the sand pit. It was really close. She was trying to catch herself. She has so much momentum on that run up. But she still has two attempts remaining here. You see a replay on this throw? Like, that's just where that, that timing is going to come in and on that run up. And where do you stop? Because you always want to stop as far out as you can to get the distance, but not put yourself in a position of. She puts herself over. under a little bit of pressure now because she knows she needs to make sure this second lift is safe. It has to be good, yeah. Now let's keep an eye on her feet as she finishes this throw. She's in a nice position. That well. Yeah, and her hands made oh, contact as well. So you can't make contact with any part of it. You use the right hand herself. right there. Just stopped herself falling into the pit there. Yeah. And you can see her feet were very close as well. But something that you don't really think about as we get into this event, now that becomes a key here. The yeah. athletes are going to have to deal with. Well, Andrea Thompson will be up next. Well, and we get into, you know, when you're fighting for an overall spot, you can't have any mistakes. You know, we had Rebecca's earlier dropping that deadlift, you know, getting excited. You know, that could come back to haunt her later. Yeah. And that's got to be frustrating because it's not a strength or performance issue. It's just, I just did something Yeah, know, and that's why this wrong. event is so, yeah. it's so much of a lottery because they've not got the experience on it. And it's one of those, a mistake is easy to make. On. Right. Do you push too hard? You know, do you take the risk and really commit to get as close to that line as possible, apply as much power as you can, with the risk of then having to fall over the line? And with every missed lift that you have, that pressure builds as well. Yeah. So Andrea Thompson going back out again. Let's take one more look at the overall standings as we await our next athlete. But this is how close it is coming into this event. As you can see, just two and a half points separating this shook from Victoria Long. And Victoria Long has your top score right now. 
Definitely come out firing today to put herself back in contention and move back up into that podium. The GOAT. Ah, I like uh, all the guys uh, and uh, hope that the strongest will uh, win today and, and no injuries. And uh, we'll see. It's very hard to predict who will win. So many good athletes. And uh, greatest athlete uh, ever in this contest. Eight-time champion of the Arnold Strongman Classic, the one and only Zadruna Saviskas. Yeah. So a half Thor here yesterday saying that he's going to try and come back for his title next year. And, Vickis, and now Olga Lischuk is going to be next. First attempt for Olga. Oh, no, she didn't get herself resituated. Well, she's just been told to wait. She started before the clock started, so she's going to have to. That happens, you know, sometimes, you know, these international athletes, there's always a language barrier sometimes. Maybe a miscommunication with the judge. Well, the good news is she had a little trouble getting that thing overhead. Uh, yeah, was very easy. She's very strong. She's a very good all round athlete as well. Someone that's good at adapting on the fly. That's a good throw. Good solid. And Andrea Thompson is the only woman left to go here. We'll wait for the official measurement for Olga. Looks pretty good. Should put herself at least in the top five here. After one round, we just have one athlete to go, so another look at her first run. Really good throw. Mm, yeah, very good. And a nice job of stopping that momentum so she doesn't carry into the pit, as we yeah. saw happen with Carasquillo. Yeah, we we know see now that, that that's a big be. A, Big key is making sure that timing, you do not waste the throw by going over that. And if you look at the sand pit there, that line by the E of Rogue, that is the mark that denotes the leading distance right now as Andrea Thompson will be the last woman to go here in round one. Andrea extremely strong in her shoulders and her overhead is how she can use that to throw the stone. Yeah, she's one of the shorter athletes in this lineup, so she's going to have to rely on that power that she has. She's going for the overhead technique as well. And a good opening throw for Andrea Thompson. As you mentioned, Laws, every single woman in that first round using that overhead technique. Yeah. Lashuk's distance of 8.9 feet puts her into second place currently. It's a distance of Andrea Thompson. We will get set for round two. So yeah, Sean, as you said, every single one of the female athletes has gone for the overhead. Press, locked out, and then run up and throw. Andrea requiring those triceps to force that stone as far as possible. And Hannah Lindsay will be the first woman up in round two. What did, what did she learn from that first throw that she can prove on? Really better that mark. She was the owner of the top distance until Victoria Long beat it in round one. Yeah, I believe she's currently in third on this event. So much better performance for her compared to the other events we've seen so far. Yeah. She's been excited about this event, so it was going to be a good event for her. So. And Andrea there we can see is in fourth place with eight feet three inches. Good throw for Andrea. 
Yeah, for being one of the shorter athletes, yeah. I think she'll be happy. If she can come top four on this, she'll be over the moon. Yeah. Second attempt for Hannah Lindsay. Oh, just held back a little bit towards the end. Yeah, she was going like to really she... commit, and then it's just like she took the kind of stutter step towards the end. And did not make contact with the sand pit. So Magnus for Magnuson give her the thumbs up. He was looking right at her feet. And we'll await the measurement. And it is your best throw of the three is your top score. This is not for cumulative distance. They're really good run, and then she started kind of stutter stepping. Still plenty of power pushed into that. Yeah, a lot of power. I think, you know, the, some of these ladies seeing Inez hit that board, you know, and, and losing a throw might be kind of in their heads, like, yeah. make sure I do not go over that board. I don't know what you'd be thinking, Jerry. For, for myself, I'd be thinking, if I've got that first lift in, and it's, you know, third place, the second lift I'm going for, I'm going to commit and take a risk. Oh, yeah. Because you've already put in a solid performance. Oh, absolutely. If you feel like you got a solid one in already, yeah, you might as well start taking that gamble and, and go, just yeah. go get, get whatever you can. Tamara Walcott will be up next for her second of three throws. In her first ever strong woman competition, last throw was six feet one inch. Stone overhead, almost. Almost getting resituated. And she's ready. You want, to, you want to make sure you got to really feel comfortable with that grasp. Just kind of lower it down. And change it up the technique. She, there. Change it up halfway through. Maybe better off just kind of holding it at the chest right from the start. Yeah. And then require you know utilizing that pressing power that she has from bench pressing. Well, and then she could keep the momentum going because then she kind of had the stutter step as she lowered it down and. Lose some of that momentum. It's quite a big cumbersome stone as well. So f for a lot of these ladies, they won't even be able to see what they're doing if they can have it on the chest. So yeah. that's probably one of the reasons as well that the majority of them are going for the overhead pressed out technique. Yeah. One more look here at Walcott's second throw, and you'll see her about halfway down that runway, lower it to her shoulder. It almost looked like she kind of twisted too, mm -hmm. and, and more, more so through from the, the, the right hand, which I think it's just too heavy for that. You, you really need to be square and put as much power from both hands. Now Mel Peacock will come up. Her first throw was six feet nine inches. She has improved with every event here at the Arnold Strong Woman Classic. An eighth, a seventh, and then a sixth in the deadlift. Second throw for Mel Peacock. So let's see how Mel does on this second attempt. Good speed. Looks like it will be better than her first throw. We'll have to see where the official measurement comes out. But. It's hard to tell straight away how well a throw is. Yeah, the way it kind of blasts sand everywhere, yeah. it's hard to tell from our angle, you know, where, where did it hit first. Here we go. This side angle should show us. Good, solid run up. That looks pretty decent, to be fair. Yeah, close. Sam Beliveau 
will be the next woman out as we await the measurement on Mel Peacock's second attempt. Seen so many different types of throwing events in Strongman before. This is completely the first time we've ever seen yeah. one like this. Very unique, interesting watching these ladies approach it. Seven feet five inches, the last throw for Bellavo. You can see just when they come out, they don't have the confidence that maybe they have when they come out to a deadlift or a log or an yeah. event that they're very familiar with. You can see there's nerves on their faces, you can see that. Well, still that question of like question marks. What what am I doing? What yeah, am I, what am I doing <laughs> it does here? seem a little bit like yeah. that. Is she going to be shorten up her run up here? Short and her foot made contact. Her left foot did make contact there. Uh, and, uh, referee's just telling her. Magnus is letting her know. And interesting, she's wearing lifters. If you ever try to run in those things, it's not very easy. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. That's the, the footwear I would choose for. I, I, what footwear would, would you go for? What's that? What footwear would you go for? I know it's always a question people ask because yeah. I, I, I find with different events, a lot of the time it comes down to personal preference. Yeah. Oh yeah. What you're more comfortable with. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen uh, Z do lo a yoke and, and lifters and, and... Which makes you know, no sense. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it is on what you're comfortable with. I, I think for this, I, I would probably just use something I would use for carries. Yeah. Uh, for something I feel like I can move in really well. Yeah, you can see yeah. there clearly the foot hitting. Yep. Left foot Broke is the one sign. that makes contact. And she started slowly, she shortened the distance and then tried to speed up. And yeah. when you're carrying 110 pounds overhead, it's... When you are not going to stop on a dime. When you look at track and field and you look at throwers, they get used to a rhythm where they'll use the exact same amount of steps mm -hmm. when they're well prepared. And you're just seeing that with these uh, these lifters today, these athletes, they're not used to that well, type of event. Like you, you mentioned when, when Sam was headed out there, you see the look in her eyes, like not a little uneasy, not sure really, you know, what what, what technique am I going to go with? And it's kind of almost like a, a game time decision, like ah, maybe I'll shorten this up and it'll be better. I don't here are your current standings as we work our way through round two. Donna Moore with five feet nine inches, currently in ninth. Ten feet two inches from Victoria Long, still the top mark. Donna's shortening it up too. It's quite a long distance though. It, it is a long run up to try to keep that timing of that release down there. Here goes Donna Moore. Although Victoria threw it very well with that. Victoria's you know. distance is fantastic so far clearly in the lead by a, a large margin currently and she had a really fast run up well that looked to be a much better throw than her first attempt yeah that looked a, a good good throw for donna get reset for our current leader, Victoria Long. So Victoria's in a great position. She knows she's currently in first place. She can just take a risk on this one. Yeah. Try and put something that's going to give her you know, a huge lead. And if it doesn't pay off, it doesn't matter. She's still currently in first place. She already has a great throw. Here's Donna's second throw. Yeah, much better throw there than her first attempt. A bit of like a jump when she stopped. They like, got a little more out of it. Now here comes Victoria Long. She is your current leader at 10 feet 2 inches. Coming off that event win in the Elephant Bar deadlift and looking to follow it up with another event victory here. Fifth place overall, but she's only two and a half points out of first. What could you do with this second attempt? Amazing first throw. Fast. Big, powerful throw again. Oh, wow. wow. And 
judging by the reaction, that is going to be her new top mark. That looked huge. I mean, she's almost into the doubled up section of the <laughs> of the pit there. Well, they will move that leader mark up a little bit. It was by the E in Rogue, and now it is about five or six inches ahead of that. Second attempt for Victoria Long as she builds on her lead. And this is clearly someone who does not need to figure this thing out. No, she seems to have it down. Yeah, she oh, looks oh, comfortable. Both of the guys are paying attention right now. <laughs> Look at that, good height on the yeah. release as well. A lot of the ladies are kind of letting it drop down. She is forcing that up and forwards. 10 feet, 10 inches, and she adds eight inches to her best wow. throw. Wow. Kiki Dixon has been backstage with the women as they're warming up. Kiki, what have you been able to see down there? Sean, I'm back here in the athlete waiting area, and there are monitors showing the live action. And I can tell you that every athlete and their coach and their friends' eyes are glued to it during the attempts. After each throw, there's a lot of discussion on what they saw, what looks like it's working, and what's not. The camaraderie is apparent as they exchange ideas and thoughts on what adjustments they might make for their next attempt. They all seem to be unified in their desire to not only help themselves, but also each other exceed, succeed at this new event. Back to you guys. No surprise there as Rebecca Roberts is set for her second attempt. It looked a little better than the first one. Yeah. Kind of kept it up high and see that from the side would be good. What this one is. But... Yeah, it looks decent. Could well improve her positioning after that second throw there. Roberts tied for third with Inez Carrasquillo with 21 total points. They're only two points out first. Yeah, that was a very good throw to her. Yeah. Right. I don't see that's got to be better than the first. Not going to go ahead of Victoria, but where does that leave her in the overall? She wants to keep continuing to add up those points going into the final event. Yep. You narrow that gap because she's got a potential frame win with her grip. Oh, she's got an unbelievable grip. So Inez, no throw on the first throw. She needs to be a little bit safer i think on this one and make sure she secures some points she has to get a mark on, on the board rebecca roberts moving up to third place with 8.8 .8 on that last throw second attempt for carasquillo and as you mentioned her first did not count that one that's much better i think will well the first one was a good throw it's just she, she yeah. went over the line and just uh, scratched it but she kind of really wasted a good throw. But I think she might have made up for it there. That will settle the nerves a little now. Well, she doesn't have the luxury in the second round of maybe being able to toy with something different because you have that third one. She's got to get on the board, and then yeah. she's got to make this third one count as well. The really interesting thing looking at the leaderboard right now is our top few athletes are all the top athletes overall except for Hannah Lindsay who is going to get between people if it stays yeah she's going to take some points away possibly there's a much safer release point she can probably get afford to get a bit closer on this third attempt yeah she almost was too far away but she had, she, had safe, safe, she, had be, she? she had to be safe she had to be yeah she had to get a number on the board here are your overall standings coming into the event. And once again, you'll see how close it is among the top five athletes. Only two and a half points separating Lee Shook from Victoria Long. I think this women's battle is gonna be so close. Now here is Olga Lee Shook for her second attempt. 10 feet, 10 inches, that is your 
top mark. Yeah, those frame carry races later in the day are going to be very exciting to see how this ends up. Only in second place on this event. Be a good throw. Eight feet nine inches was her first attempt. That's good for second place right now. We'll see if she improves on that as she tries to separate herself from Rebecca Roberts. Olga will maintain her second place position. And it seems like everybody now is being extra careful about where they wind up you know, with their feet before they throw because they just yeah. do not want to have a bad rep. Well, if it ends up being a good throw, I mean, you don't want to waste it. Right. You know, on, on something like that. You know, Andrea Thompson. She had a great throw to start. To close out round two. Using the power of her shoulders and triceps to launch that thing. Eight that, feet three That's what she needs to rely on. She doesn't have the height of some of the other athletes. She needs to use that power that she has, that log pressing power that we saw yesterday. Yeah. She's got strong legs. Right now in fifth place in the event. Second attempt. Pretty good. It's good. It's just it's so hard to tell from yeah, the angle. That you, it, it really is. You don't see. It's so much harder to it see. Is, it is. Hopefully, we get a nice replay from the side. And we have one round remaining. Can Andrea improve on her? Fifth place currently with that throw. She was he started way far too back. safe then. She had a yeah. good half a foot. Yeah, she really wasted a good foot and a half or more. That will bring Hannah Lindsay back out. That's probably the, the, the most difficulty of this is timing it right. Yeah. To be right on the edge. But not going over, you know, because you don't want to waste anything. You don't want to be a foot, foot and a half back and waste that distance. Mm. And here comes Hannah Lindsay. Fired up, get this last one. For her final attempt. See if she can improve on it. Currently fourth with her best throw at eight feet, five inches. So currently, Hannah yeah. Lindsay is doing it's Carl Olga and Victoria a big favor. Yeah. Ahead of Andrea Thompson and Inez. If the positions stay as they are. Final throw for Hannah Lindsay. Looks to be a good throw, but. Yeah, definitely short of the lead, but yeah. is it good enough to get her ahead of Robertson Leeschuk? Good to see her putting in a solid performance, though. She's a great athlete, has not had the contest that she was expecting, but showing now what she's capable of, and she'll want to finish strong. Here's the replay of Lindsay's third and final throw. Kind of limping off there. Trying to get the crowd behind her and then some tired, battered bodies at this point. Oh, yeah, this far in. That was good. Yeah. Certainly timed it right. Yeah. 
Plus, coming to that sudden stop, you know, it's got to hurt. Really jar your knees. Mm. Well, Walcott is the only woman who has tried to vary her technique. She went overhead in her first throw. She went from the shoulder in throw number two, and let's see what she does here for her third and final attempt. Fantastic deadlift earlier on in the day. Hannah Lindsay has gone up to third. Wow. Again, if, I mean, if she can stay ahead of Rebecca Roberts, Olga and Victoria are going to be very happy. Really going to help out them. Walcott still at six feet, one inch. That was her first throw. Really shorten up that run-up. What approach will she take for this final attempt? And Tamara Walcott going with the overhead technique for her third and final throw, and we will see if that beats her first attempt at six feet one inch. Mel Peacock will be up next as we take another look at Walcott's effort. Looks like it might be her best throw. We're going to try to stay with that overhead. And didn't jump into it as we've seen. So yeah. was able to. You know, it's tough. I don't think she's going to move up in positioning, but if she can finish with a PB, yeah. then that's all you can ask for. And really, we talked about her yesterday. This is all about experience for her first competition. And, Kind of a baptism by fire to get yeah, have your first competition be on this stage. They're throwing in with, with the, the top strongest women in the world. That that's tough, and she's having to learn as she goes on these. She's the world champion in her game, you know. Unbelievable power left her. Stepping over to strong man, strong woman, it's it's different. Yeah. It's and, not. and only have 12 weeks to prepare yeah. for this. <laughs> Give her a year of preparing, and I'd like to see what she could do. Yeah, that was a proper coaching in a year. I, well, Mel Peacock currently seventh with a distance of seven feet eight inches. She can add a little bit of distance to that. She can put herself into sixth. Throw. We will await the measurement on that. As Peacock is now done with event four. One event remaining today it is the frame carry to close things out here at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic. Here's Peacock's final toss. Good final throw there Good. by Mel Peacock. Samantha Bellavo will be the next woman out here in the third and final round. Bellavo yesterday in the American Oak was not able to get the heaviest lift uh, the, on the heavy lock, but when she got to the light lock, she put up seven reps. Yeah, absolutely crushed that. Seven feet five inches is her best distance. And last time she shorted up that approach. We'll see if she does that again here. She will. She rolls the stone forward. Still wearing those lifters. There's a couple of them with, with the lifters. The only 
the reason I can see they're wearing the lifters is just to give it a little bit of extra height. Yeah. Her left foot was close. Yeah. She'd be quite flat with the push as well. Yeah. It seems like it is going to count. Now, whether or not it beats her score of seven feet five inches, we'll have to see. But yeah, none of them have really got that trajectory that Victoria is getting out of it. You know, she's really launching it up and out. So much power that she has. As yeah. Well. And, and she has the and by far the fastest run up, and she's stopping on a dime every time to. It's a well prepared athlete, clearly. Yeah, I was, she's uh, trained it well. Third throw for Bellavo. Good throw. Yeah, it was. And seven end up being her best one. Well, seven feet five inches is going to wind up being her best, I think. It didn't look like that throw beat it. Okay. But it was close. So seven eight, actually it was. It beats it by three inches. So oh. seven feet eight inches. Good effort. They said it was her best throw. I should trust you more often, as you know what you're talking about. <laughs> Donna Moore will be up for her final throw. Moore coming in in sixth place overall right now in ninth place in this event, seven feet, seven inches. Donna's won absolutely everything there is to win in the strong woman. She's been doing it so long. One of the greats. Dominated it for so many years. He really did. That will be it for Donna Moore here in event four. Seven feet, seven inches, her top mark coming into this final round. Oh, he broke that. Right now, it looks like seven feet, seven inches will be her top score. You stopped a little too far out. She, she, she wasted a foot or so there. I think that last attempt, you may as well go for broke. Yeah. Yeah, it may have been a better throw distance-wise, but she, like you said, just shorted it a little bit. Yeah. Victoria Long will be out for her third and final throw. She had 10 feet, two inches on her first attempt, added eight inches of that in round two, and we'll see what she can do here can she in round three. Yeah. And looking for her second straight first place finish. She has really pulled herself back into convention today. This will be extremely impressive if she can better this again on the third. And just keep getting better. Yeah, I don't think she's going to need to, is um, the honest truth, but she is He's definitely going to consummate try. professional. She wants to keep improving, keep dominating. Final attempt for Long. Yeah. Not how she has. Launches. Wow. Whoa. Looks like that's going to beat it. <laughs> she did it again. I feel confident in saying that. It sure looks like it. I think you got this one right, Sean. <laughs> Every now and then. That one even kind of turned on her, but it's it still, it, it, she gets such a launch. That, that's incredible throwing. Again, it's where the initial impact was made, so it does look like they're going to move that leader mark up a little bit. Yeah, because it's getting closer to that steel bracket. Jeez. That is fantastic. Three incredible attempts yeah, there. Yeah, and getting better and better. That steel bracket is where they put it to, put, to mark the top distance, and it has belonged to that woman since we started. Wow. And she's still a little, you know, foot away. I mean, she actually gives up a little bit, but doesn't need it because, I mean, she launches it she's so really far. She's getting a great amount of pushing yeah. power into that stone. Oh, using that momentum of that fast run up and then it just launches it. Seems to have everything right. Yeah. And now Rebecca Roberts 
coming up for her final throw. Well, Rebecca got better on her second. So hopefully she she's learning as she goes as well. She can better her better on the third here. Eight feet, eight inches, her top mark. With the frame to come, she's going to be feeling confident. Yeah, with, with her grip on frame. She was telling us that she not only has the Hercules hold record in her gym for the women, but also for the men. <laughs> well, she's got an unbelievable grip. She has the all-out record at her gym. That looked pretty good. Yeah. Thumbs up from Magnus. Looks like she's using her height more than she was in that first throw. Looks like she saved her best for last. Yeah. Like she got and this could be big for Victoria Long as well if Rebecca is able to get up the leaderboard a little bit more and take more points away from the people that Victoria Long is chasing. Yeah, she takes more points away from Andrea and Olga. And so far, this event is going perfectly for Victoria Long. Now, if things stay the way they are, as you see Rebecca Roberts' final throw, Victoria Long would only be a point and a half back of the overall lead wow. with one event to go. And now Inez Karaskio will be the next woman out. Missed her first throw because she made contact with the sand pit, but was able to get her second throw to count. Yeah, and that second one, she was being extra cautious. She really gave up almost a couple feet. So this one, I think she's just got to go wide just open. to commit to it. She needs, and if she can get herself into the top three, which she's capable of yeah. on this event, she's got a chance at the overall. Seven feet, nine inches, good right now for sixth for Karaskio. 21 points coming in. She's only two points out of first. She has that shot put background. She can has the experience to do it. Good throw, not quite enough to get Victoria, but good throw. It's definitely not going to catch up Victoria, but no. is it going to close the gap on any of the other athletes? That's the question. We only have two women left, Olga Lieschuk and Andrea Thompson. That was a good throw. Yeah. It generates a lot of power. Mm. I think she may have snuck up a little bit on the leaderboard. So Olga Lischuk will try to improve on her nine foot two inch throw. I think Olga's exactly where she wants to be. Second place on this is perfect for her. I don't think she's going to catch up with Victoria, but if she can maintain that second place, she's going to be very pleased going into the final event. She will be in the, our current leader. And Inez Karaskio moved up to fourth with that last throw, eight feet nine inches for her, tying Hannah Lindsay. Final attempt here for Olga. Quick feet. Oh, her uh, left foot came up clearly okay. there. And unfortunately, yeah. that's not going to count. It was one of those go for broke, stand on the gas, see what she could get. Hey, there was, there was, <laughs> there really had nothing to lose there. there. Absolutely. It was worth going for. She's and in a great position in second place. Yeah. Why not go for it? Uh, she's a good spot going in that frame carry. It looks like maybe the, maybe the stone left the mark on the top of her head. <laughs> having a good laugh about stones. that. They, they, they could cut your head up quite easily. So not a bad throw, but unfortunately the left foot clearly came up on the sand pit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she was almost in the thing. <laughs> yeah. She was almost in the sand pit, yeah.
but still looking at second place in this event. So Andrea Thompson will be the last woman to go to close out round three. Andrea needs to go for broke here. She's currently in sixth place. She can't drop down. She's the last athlete to throw. Yeah. If she can pull back a couple more plays, it's going to be big points for her. She needs to take a risk here. Try and get as close to that platform as possible. Because she was a good distance away last time. She was. She gave up some. Final throw for Thompson. Really use those shoulders and triceps. Use that power. We really launch that thing. Speed of the runner. Oh, that yeah. wasn't so good. Totally messed that one yeah, up. That she one. bobbled a little bit there <laughs> at the end. Fumbled, but. but she's not going to drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and everything to lose there, but she would hope for a little better. And that means that Victoria Long is going to come up with her second straight first place finish and should be within at least two points of the overall lead. We'll have to wait for the official standings, but she is continuing to rocket up the overall standings. It's going to be a very, very exciting finish for our ladies. Event four is now done for the women. One event remains, it is the frame carry, and for the second straight event, it's Victoria Long finishing first, 10 feet, 10 inches. Olga Lischuk, who is tied for first at nine feet, two inches, and Rebecca Roberts rounding out the top three, and Victoria Long started at 10 feet, two inches, went up to 10, eight, and then finishes with 10, 10 got better every time. As you take a look back at her third and final throw to clinch the victory. And she was the one who looked the most comfortable with it from the start. And Huge throw. The, the first lift would have been... launching that throw would have been enough to win. And Victoria Long is with Kiki Dixon. Victoria, you dominated this event. Why? It has to do with training. And that's the thing, like I said earlier, um, this event, I mean, nobody has ever gotten to throw this stone. So you just have to do your best in training to um, come up with a technique that's going to work. And how did you go about coming up with your technique? There was a lot of chatter about that. Trial and error. <laughs> Absolutely, with sandbags and medicine balls and all sorts of stuff. So. With two event wins today, you've put yourself not only in podium position, but to win the Arnold Strongwoman Classic. How do you feel about frame carries? I feel good about the frame carry. We'll see what happens like any event, because these women are incredible, um, and you never know what they're going to bring to the table. So this event's over. Time to move on. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Time to move on, and it's time to move up as well for Victoria Long, who now sits all by herself in second place. She is now a point and a half back of Olga Lischuk with just one event remaining. And then you have a good battle shaping up between Rebecca Roberts, Andrea Thompson, and Inez Carrasquillo for the final spot on the podium. And this is exactly what you want to see heading into the final event. Still pretty much wide open at the top. Look at that scoreboard, so tight between the top athletes. It's going to be an exciting finish later on in the frame carry. But Victoria Long has done what she needed to do after that poor start yesterday. She's clawed her way back. She has a chance. What impressed you about some of the performances you just saw there? Oh, they, they were all really great. Um, Victoria's by far. Mm -hmm. I mean, her, her first throw was enough to, she could have sat down. Right. And, I mean, <laughs> nobody got to that. And she, and she got better after each mm -hmm. one. Uh, so she, by far, had it figured out better than anyone. Hopefully the guys were paying attention. Yeah, hopefully they were. We were certainly paying attention and can't wait to go do it again as the men are coming up next. The women are going to take a break. They have one event remaining, but we will take a quick break and be back with the stone throw for the men here at the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic.